we couldn't really finish the conversation. I, that, you know, he started explaining it, and then we started getting into which criteria for, you know, did it meet on the hand pass. I just, I, you know, I noticed that the handshake was pretty much over, so I'm like, look, I, I got to shake hands here. There's nothing I can do to change it. So, um, he was, you know, the, they they looked at the different, you know, was the net, this, you know, all the normal things you look for, but the one they were really looking at was, was it a hand pass? So that's what, um, and he started explaining it, like I said, and then we, we ran out of time. So. Have, you, have you had the chance to look at it yet? No. No. No, I haven't seen it. What was it like for those six hundred and fifteen just to kind of sit through that and wait through that? Yeah. It was, uh, you know, I've been there before. We had a 15-minute one uh, at the Garden one year. We're playing BU, and, yeah, it was, might have been four 15 minutes. And uh, so, you know, we've been there and just waited out and you hope, hope that, uh, you know, there's enough evidence to be conclusive though you know one of those plays where usually whatever they call on the ice is going to stand because if it's not conclusive so the call on the ice was a goal so uh, you know they would have had to find conclusive that's kind of like Jeff said so. well it's really good yeah it was a hard fought game you know obviously we're proud of our guys and, you know uh, how they battled and fought against a, you know, a really good team you know, and uh, I think we're real happy for Norm Obviously, and his staff, they did a great job. You know, their team played played real well. But we, uh, we're proud of our guys. We've, we've, you know, more importantly than, than tonight is, uh, you know, the, uh, how far we've come this year. Uh, we don't even resemble the team we were at the start of the year. Uh, so, Martin Willett and Kevin Shore. Coach, following uh, Diamond's dismissal, what? Changes did you make, if any, to the uh, to the lineups to combat that? Yeah, we, we for a while there we doubled Beatty up there, and then we uh, we doubled Merchant up uh, in the third, uh, Beatty in the second, Merchant in the third, and just juggled some lines. You know, tried uh, had some different combos. Who was fresh and dependent on if it was power play or PK, and we, we shuffled. Uh, we put Hutz on Hutton on the first unit in place of Joe, and kind of juggled some positions. And, and it was fine. Um, you know, we've been down that road before this season with all the injuries and, and guys that have uh, have missed time. So uh, I thought the guys didn't meet a bit, miss a beat, and thought they uh, they adjusted well. Any questions for the guys? Yeah, Martin, on the breakaway with uh, Scott Wilson, the one that you made the nice robbery. Um, what was uh, going through your mind when you saw him get uh, stride and a half? I knew, I knew he was a good player, mm -hmm. so uh, I actually thought he was going to go. The other side, he kind of surprised me, but uh, I was able to club it, and uh, yeah, it was a it was a good save and gave us all momentum and put me in the. That was a tremendous save. Did you did you think that he was gonna switch it up and try and go backhand on you instead of uh, when you shot? When you shot I wasn't sure. I don't. I, I didn't. I don't really know him that well as a player, so I uh, you know I, I tried to um, be patient and uh, let him uh, make the first move and. Uh, that's what I did, so. Yeah, hell of a highlight save, huh? The, the tying goal, you immediately went over and, and talked to two officials. What were you, what were you saying there? Um, I mean, uh, my, my pad was right on the post, and I made the first save, and the, they kind of just jammed it, and uh, my pad kind of backed up into that with the puck. So, um, yeah, I was just trying to, uh, you know, tell them that. Uh, there's not much I could have done because they pushed me in the net, but uh, as, uh, they reviewed it and it was a good call, so not much. That would be one of your best games of the year. You had to kill 60 minutes of penalties. Just you just seemed to be able, you know, I, I had you with 17 grade A saves. I mean, really, you kept the team in it, you know, when you guys were had to kill penalties and stuff. Yeah, I think, uh, well, first of all, the, the guys did a great job tonight um, in the PK, uh, cleared the buck a lot, um, cleared the rebounds. And I was able to, to see the puck a lot better uh, tonight. They they were able to kind of move the guy in front of me, so so I was able to, to see the puck. Um, and yeah, yeah, I was able to make the, some good stops to keep the, the team in the game. And uh, the guys played under in front of me. The game where you got taken out, Mark Mark Nevick sort of took you was coming across, sort of took you out, and then. Just sitting there the game uh, yeah, I made the first save, and then I'll have to watch it on the video. I don't really, really know what happened after where the rebound went, but uh, yeah, I was kind of uh, 
other than that, at that point, and I, I looked back and the, the puck was sitting there in the crease and the guy was able to just push it in, so I'm um, not, not too sure what happened after that first save. Their coach talked about how mentally difficult it was for them. Did you get a sense that you were compounding him a little bit? Um, uh, I felt like today was more, I felt more like a playoff game than yesterday. Um, just kind of just the little stuff in the corners and um, we definitely have similar but but different type of styles of, of hockey and we kind of um, tried to, I guess we try to just sort of dull the game down there they're running gun time kind of team and and so if, if that's what they were kind of meant by mentally difficult and, and obviously in the, in the playoffs there's so much emotion so it's mentally difficult for both teams but uh, they they obviously uh, overcame that one. Good for them. Can you take us through your goal, Devin, and, and what you saw me run at the wrong Yeah, well, Steve Swavely uh, got kicked out of the face off, and, and Ryan Mommer came in. And he was, I think, I want him in the only two draws he took all year, and he, he won them perfectly <laughs> clean. So that was the second one, and then it was right in my tape, and just, I kind of brought it to the middle, and, and, and Steve Swavely was um, great at the net front all game, and, and it wasn't a hard shot, but it, it just got there and, and went in. Devin, can you talk about when uh, Diamond went out, just what you and your line needed to do to kind of adjust on the block? Yeah, yeah, that's tough when, 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 your, when your line mates goes out and, and uh, looking back is like the way it worked out, it was, it was his last way to go, it's tough. But yeah. um, at, at that point in the game, when you're when you're in the game, you're not thinking about that and you just got to just worry about, about your game and the guys who are, who are still on the bench. And, and we, we trusted the coaches to do um, what, what they wanted to do with the line and with the lines and... Uh, and we were we were all in with what they did, and, and not not much changes. You just you just gotta keep at it and, and uh, play hard. What was the feeling, uh, I guess, uh, confidence like after you scored the goal? That Marty's playing great. You guys get the goal. You're in the same position you are tonight again. You're frustrating them. You're up the goal. And you just just kind of take us through, you know, the, the general mindset of the team at that point. Yeah, it, it's always it's always nice to get the first goal in any game to, to get that one up to me, but. Uh, they're, I think, the sixth ranked in the country, so we, we were just trying to stick stick to our game plan because odds are we probably weren't going to beat them one nothing. But it, it felt great to get the first one, but just uh, just kind of kind of keep running. It's, it's too bad we had a power play late in that second. It would have been nice to get another one, but uh, but we didn't. And and I, I felt like the whole game we got we got a ton of chances and and uh, and kind of rode that momentum and, and we didn't back down. So, uh, but no, after, after the goal, it felt, it felt good, but there was, a, there was a ton of game to be played left still. And, uh, what, what, was it, what was the improvement in the penalty kill? You guys had a lot of seven power play goals in the last 20 chances, but today you killed 16 minutes of penalties. Uh, the, the coaches made, it, made a great adjustment um, uh, after the video last night. We let them get to the, to the middle too much, and. And uh, so, so they, they picked up on that and just told us to, to keep them in the middle as much as we could. And, and a credit to, uh, to the, the players, uh, I think almost all the forwards got some, some penalty kill time and we all, we all bought in and, and tried to keep them out of the middle. And because uh, you have one less guy than them, so they're going to have something, but you don't want them to be in the middle. After talking last night about how you had to stay out of the penalty box then to get more penalties minutes tonight than last night, what? What happened? I mean, it's just it's the emotions of a playoff game, or, or yeah. I mean, obviously Joey, you know, Joey had a tough night. You know, uh, uh, you know, it's it's an emotional game. He's an emotional guy. Uh, it's you know, you kind of live and die by the sword. You know, uh, you know, we wouldn't even be in the playoffs if it weren't for for Joe's play and, and all the big goals he scored and his leadership. So, you know. Uh, again, he's part of our family, and you know we stuck with him. And you know I feel for him. He, he's just, uh, you know, Lotion's going the best of him tonight. And uh, but uh, you know otherwise, I thought our our discipline was, was excellent this weekend. You know it's just uh, a tough night for him, uh, but we love him, and uh, he's still part of our family. That's for sure. And and like I said, we wouldn't have been been in this situation without Joe. Any questions for the players, or Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Good for me, or is it sort of like I look back on your first talk about what a different kind of team you are you now and, and, and improvement in, and it's obviously 
bitter kind of now to, to have it over, but do you get some satisfaction out of, out of the, the improvement out of the, the way these guys agree with you? Yeah, no, we, we, uh, we're very proud of them. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we, we, had, we faced a lot of adversity this year, you know, on and off the ice, and I think uh, what we're most proud of this group is uh, they never quit on each other. They kept fighting, and, uh, you know, had it come easy, uh, I think we, we would have lost a lot of lessons. Um, you know, we would have missed out on some very important life lessons, and uh, certainly uh, we learned a lot this year. And uh, I think most importantly was uh, that when you're a family like this, and these guys go through so much, they really they really are a family. And uh, for them to stick with each other for all, with all their faults, all of our faults, you know, uh, and to to improve as they did, genuinely improved to, to the second best record in the league since Christmas. Um, you know, uh, we're, we're very proud of them, you know, and it, it, it bodes very well for the future. Obviously, kids like Devin Shore and, you know, Ben Hutton, uh, and you know, I can go on, but uh, boy, they, they, they came a long way since the start of the year. And, and again, it wasn't an easy ride, but we have 100 and whatever we have now, 119, 121 man games lost injury. You know, you, you've got to you got to make it, uh, you know, you got to adapt and you got to find ways. Um, and guys played, you know, we had D that played forward, we had forward that played D. We had, you know, we went through every possible scenario, even within tonight's game, the same thing. So, uh, uh, again, the, they're very resilient. Uh, their determination was uh, was exceptional, and, and they really, uh, they really played hard. With Joey, I know there was a long stretch last season where he hadn't been taking any penalties or it really turned a corner. Was there something he reverted back to, or was there more frustration, or something that's maybe led to some of the penalties he's taken recently? Yeah, you know, it's hard to say. You know, if I had the answer to that, we wouldn't be <laughs> sitting here. And, you know, it's, a, it's as you know, human beings are pretty complex. You know, and uh, as I said, you know, we. Uh, as our as a fan, you know, it's like no different than someone maybe a, you know, someone in your family that you know you love them for uh, regardless, you know. And uh, obviously, we've worked very very hard with him to make he's come a long way. I know it didn't look like it tonight, <laughs> but uh, but he has, and uh, and he'll bounce back from this. And uh, and uh, you know, but again, it's. Uh, you know, that's, that's what it's about. You, you know, you're in tough situations and you make mistakes, but now, now, now he needs to learn from it. And I'm sure he will. He's, he's a good man. And he's a good man at heart. But uh, it was a tough night for him tonight.